Mr. President. Oh, my brother. My brother. Oh, no pomp and ceremony as countries learn to adapt to the new normal. Wow. And they soon held bilateral talks behind closed doors. Later, they joined the delegations to continue with the work. Both countries committing to play their part in strengthening trade relations. And for trade and economy to flourish, leaders agreed that corruption is a cancer that deprives countries to realize their full potential. We stand firm against corruption as a government and we believe that we need to strengthen institutions that have been set up to fight corruption and to enforce the rule of law. And as heads of state, we should be in full support of processes as well as institutions that have been appointed to fight corruption. And we should do so without any form of interference because those institutions should be independent. They should be able to do their work without any favor, any prejudice, and any form of interference. We must, for example, strengthen the Anti-Corruption Bureau. We must uh, strengthen, you know, Financial Intelligence Authority and other such institutions. Even the judiciary must be able to act independently. The president must never be seen to interfere in their operations. That way, we can stump out this cancer amongst us because it has cost our peoples so much. Instead of us uh, thriving, we are barely surviving when we have so much that we can use to serve our peoples with. On global issues, they both responded to their country's policies on Israel-Palestine question, with South Africa emphasizing its own position of two-state solution, saying Palestine has a right to self-determination, but Malawi trying to maintain a balance between Palestine and Israel. After it was criticized for taking a decision to open an embassy in Jerusalem. All peoples in the world to be free and to also have self-determination, to be able to determine their own future, their own destiny. That is still something that the Palestinians do not enjoy. And we will remain supporting the struggle of the Palestinians and we will articulate this position at every public forum that we have until the Palestinians win their own struggle. Because we were also in struggle, struggling to achieve our own freedom, and uh, we are therefore duty-bound to support those peoples in the world who are struggling for freedom and for self-determination. We can have offices either uh, side, but uh, the point being this, we support the freedom of every nation on planet Earth, of every people, whether it be people group, they need the freedom which is their birthright. And we will continue to speak with the assurance that as people, we can talk to each other, we can understand one another, and we can come to a place where we through that dialogue and contact, establish long-lasting solutions to what faces all of us as humanity. So this was nothing to do with going contrary to any resolution. Uh, it was a matter of expression in terms of relations that's already there. President Ramaphosa called on Malawian president as the incoming chair of SADC to pull the region together to assist Mozambique in dealing with the security matter. As a, a sister country in SADC, we're in support of the rule of law in Mozambique, we're in support of the people of Mozambique, and SADC itself is seized with this matter, and we'll be discussing this matter uh, in the coming days, and uh, I think uh, one should just leave it there because these are highly sensitive matters that are being done and discussed 
and uh, we should say that we support Mozambique uh, in all the challenges that it is facing at this point in time. The Malawian leader is expected to visit Zambia as part of his SADC tour. Sophie Mguin, SABC News, Pretoria.